If you're doing 5 million a year or 10 million a year in sales volume as a real estate agent, or maybe you're doing 40, 50, or even 100 million, I would love to have the opportunity to have a phone call with you just to connect and collaborate. It's time, it's well overdue for us to connect. There's so many opportunities that we could collaborate on. There's sales, we could throw referrals back and forth. There's coaching, if you have agents who need help, or even if yourself, if you're trying to get to the next level, I'm happy to interject my thoughts. We have mortgage that we can also connect on and investing, right? We should be throwing in on deals together all over the country, throwing deals back and forth, whatever. I just want to connect and see what business opportunities there are for us to work on. So I'm going to put a link in the description right now for you to go and fill out and connect with you so that we can see if there's some kind of opportunity. If it's not now, maybe later. You guys know how I built my real estate business. I built it on buyers and sellers who weren't ready to buy or sell today. Right. And we ended up doing business years later. So I'm looking to continue to plant seeds with all the top producers in every market and see what we can do to work together now and in the future. For now, I want to basically tell you my story of getting to seven figure, which in my market ended up being uh, 40 million dollars. I hit 40 million dollars. I hit that for eight years in a row. Now me and my father have combined our business and we're doing 50, 60 million together. Um, so it's, it's a beautiful thing really, but you guys know I got in the business in 2002. I was 20 years old. Okay. Made a meal before I'm 23, lost it all in the crash, flipping houses, went back to roofing houses, worked on an oil rig, went bankrupt, was sleeping in my car for a year and sleeping on the oil rig for every other week, sleeping in my car, sleeping on friends' couches, sleeping on the oil rig. It was wild, but my mental health was perfect during that time. Let me tell you, because I was still young enough to where I loved hard work, hard labor, so that I was fortunate to be in that position. But also, I knew that the lessons I was learning in my mid-20s were going to carry me through the rest of my life and get me where I am right now today, on my way to, to positively impacting millions and millions and millions of people. And that's what I was put on this earth to do is to positively impact millions of people. I know that now. And that's why I don't charge for coaching because it's not even about the money. I could charge $25,000 a pop for coaching. I know coaches that do it all day long and it just doesn't interest me. I have zero interest in going out there and charging a ton of money uh, to tell you how to do your job. Um, but anyway, there's a lot I could talk about in that subject, but we'll move on because I just want to give you the story here of, of the breakthrough moment that I had that took me from six figures to seven figures. And so let's see, I got back in the business in 2008. I was laid off from the oil rig. I started building my business the right way, which was realizing closings happen every day. And that this business is about people and putting relationships, lifelong relationships, friendships with my clients over the actual deals because I knew that the, the the conversion was a friend with this person forever where they felt obligated to do business with me for the rest of their life. And once I had that and I felt that, that I secured that, I wasn't worried about a deal today because I knew I was going to have a lifetime of deals with that client. I think that's the mindset, the mind shift you have to get into to go from six to seven figures. And that's hard for a lot of people. And a lot of those people stay in the six figure range. Nevertheless, in 2008, came back, worked really hard. Uh, I made 80,000 that year and I made 44,000 on the oil rig. So I made double the money working in the AC, right? And I was like, thank you, God. And so that happened. Then the next year in 2009, I make 100,000. Then 2010, the year the oil spill down here that really was a mini recession, I made 50% more. I went from 109 to 150,000. And that was the moment I said, I got this. I can make it during any market, right? I realized it was about people and that deals are going to fluctuate, but they're never going to go to zero. And if I have the most relationships, I'm going to do business, no matter what the market's doing. It's a lot kind of like what's happening right now. People are freaking out with, you know, less transactions. I know this is the calm before the storm. I've went through all kinds of data to show you that we're headed towards the perfect storm 
of so much. We have a record amounts, record amounts of pent up demand right now. This is the calm before the storm, and it always is. If it slows down, that means it's fixing to get busy. So buckle up, dig in, and build your influence to the next level and to get ready for that next wave so that you make more money than you did the last wave. It's not difficult. This is not rocket science. It's just a long game. And the problem is people just aren't patient. And that's what I had to learn was the patience part. That was the last hidden little key to, to me getting to seven figure was the patience part. So in 2010, I made 150. I moved to Remax. I was like, I'll take on that desk fee. I'll take on that split. I'll take on all this extra, you know, all these extra expenses to be with the best company around so that I could be the best agent that I could be. And so I went there and I worked really hard. Okay. And then by 2014 was the first year I sold hundred properties. So think about that. Made it, lost it, came back from 08 to 14, six years of grinding before I hit hundred deals a year. So I hit hundred deals a year and that year I made 600,000. The next year I wanted to make a million. I put together the perfect plan to do so. And by March of 2015, I realized I'm only going to make 600 again. And I became incredibly frustrated. This was the moment of frustration, uh, ungodful. I started reading and researching everything that I could on other agents who were selling billions of dollars and hundreds of millions of dollars and top teams. And I'm like, maybe I should do a team or maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. I was trying to figure it out. I ended up hiring a coach, Tim Harris. Great guy. Hired him for four months. And he took me through just the standard if as, as if I were a new agent, you know, going through all the stuff, which guys, it, it is about the basics. And at the end of the day, what I learned was that I was doing all of the right things. The problem was I wasn't being patient. You see, it takes believing 100 percent, which I did. It takes uh, hard work, which I, I was, and it takes adapting along the way, which in so many words I was. And then it takes patience. Once you have these three things in place, the last missing piece is patience. Once you're doing everything right, it's just a matter of time. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And so I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I wanted it so bad, as a lot of you do. And here I was, <laughs> here I was. And in 2014, I made 600. 15, I made 600. 16, I did 750. And then finally in 2017, I made a meal. But 2015 was the year I had to learn patience and I had to realize all I can do is all I can do. And I got to be happy with what the results are of my the maximum amount of my efforts. That's what I had to realize at the end of the day. Once I have 40 million, a uh, million a year in GCI with no expenses because I'm a single agent, I wasn't spending money on leads. You guys know I don't spend money on leads or marketing. I just do the weekly email. So I'm sitting here with about a million bucks with literally almost no expenses. I probably had 100,000 a year in expenses between my assistant and a Red X and doing the weekly email and whatever postcards and a few little mail outs I did. About 100,000. So I had an incredible business and I was really incredibly satisfied. That was the goal. I hit the goal. And then I decided, okay, I conquered this mountain. Um, and I can see that if I want to take it to two mil, I'm going to be, you know, let's face it, being in real estate, being a real estate agent is not necessarily all of our dreams until the day that we die. Some people it is, but I think it is until it's not. Um, and I think real estate investing is going to be the next frontier or providing other sources of residual income, right? When you do it, when you're a real estate agent, every sale you make, you got to wake up the next day and do it all again and again and again and again. And you're in a rat race, right? And I think that building businesses that every time you make a sale, you get paid forever. Those are the type of businesses that I decided at that point in 2017 that I wanted to be in. Because when I made a meal, I realized, oh crap, I got to go out here and do it all again the next year. If I wanted to make a meal again, I didn't like that feeling because that was very daunting. It's like I have to climb this mountain all over again. I have to start at zero January 1st again. Wow, this is going to be incredibly tough. But my business did turn into an autopilot business where the weekly email was producing two deals a week. I wasn't having a prospect anymore. And I was able to easily go out there 
and close 100 deals a year and make a million dollars working about five, 10 hours a week on my business because I don't really show a lot of property. Um, I was showing three or four buyers a month, but most of my deals were listings and the buyers who did buy knew what they wanted and just, you know, looked at one property and closed for the most part. There were a couple I had to show a bunch to and all that. I had, I had some regular buyers, but my business was focused around property owners, right? So it's all about efficiency, right? Realizing efficiency, realizing scalability, building your business to the moon, getting to that residual place where you have those residual deals coming in and then going and building other businesses, honestly, that are more residual based um, investing in real estate. You buy property, you get paid forever as long as you own that property. Um, you get paid through cash flow. You get paid through debt buy down. You get to pay through bonus depreciation and appreciation. Um, same thing when you build other types of businesses like I do in the coaching world, in the brokerage world, in the mortgage world. So anyway, um, I guess at the end of the day, you know, I learned how the market works with that. It never goes to zero closings happen every day, but also that I had to work on myself and find that personal development and, and add that extra layer of patience because most of you are doing what you need to do to get there. You just need to do it longer. It's just not a matter of if, like I say, it's a matter of when. Um, it's like I tell a lot of the struggling agents, you know, if you make calls all morning and make videos all afternoon and do a weekly email, you're going to be a millionaire. It's not a matter of if, matter of when. So anyway, click the link below if you guys are doing 5 million plus a year, 10, 20, 30, 40. I'd love to hop on a call and just see if there's any business opportunities that we could collab on. So I'll put that link down there for you and you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.